from the 39th floor. Behind me is Waikiki, Waikiki Beach. There's a whole bunch of surfers out there, but I think it's between those two buildings. And then there is Diamond Head. So welcome to Hawaii. One, two, We begin our journey in St. Louis, Missouri with a layover in Salt Lake City. And on the way there, we got to look out the window and see the Rocky Mountains. Very cool. And of course, we got to see Salt Lake. And from there was a direct flight to Honolulu. It was about a six hour flight that felt like forever because the airplane's TV screens to watch movies weren't connected to satellite, but it was worth it because of the view out the window. Once we landed, I noticed something strange about the airport. There were no windows. It was open air and you could look right out and almost touch a garden full of tropical plants. That was very memorable. So we didn't rent a car on this trip, but opted for the bus, which was great in most instances. I'll talk more about the buses on a later video guide though. So we hopped on the bus, found our hotel, didn't know what floor we would get, but the 39th floor had some amazing views. I'm glad we faced east instead of west so we could see all the sights, but enough gazing at the views, time for some dinner. We decided to get some pizza so we could have the leftovers for breakfast. But on the way to the pizza place, we noticed a long line to another restaurant. This was the definition of hustle and bustle. We actually didn't even know what it was exactly because there were so many people we couldn't see the menu. We decided we had to try this on another evening. It must be good, right? <laughs> it was. Anyway, so the pizza was enormous and very tasty. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza absolutely. Pizza. We got cheese and just look at the size of this pizza slice. We were super tired from our travels, but couldn't wait for our adventures of exploring Waikiki tomorrow. But we're in Hawaii, we had to go explore a little more, even if we are tired. So we walked down the sidewalk and heard drums in the distance, and of course we had to go find them. It was inside their mall and an entire show was happening. The fire show reminded me of Lilo and Stitch, but just take a listen to know exactly why these drums drew you in. We also grabbed some audience members to try the dance to, which was uh, pretty fun. But we decided it was finally time to go back to the hotel. But we were beat because we had been up for, I don't even remember, more like 26 hours for sure though. And the jet lag here makes you feel like you've been a morning person all your life, if you traveled here from the States. But it was nice to watch the sunrise over the mountains. For today, we plan to go to Waikiki Beach in the first half of the day and then hike Diamond Head in the second half. I'm sure we say aloha. Aloha. <laughs> and that's Waikiki Beach and Diamond Head. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> We're gonna go walk on the beach this morning. Yay! And then walk Diamond Head later. And then uh, way over there, I think is that what? When, no, well, I don't know how to say it. The snorkeling spot. We're gonna do that later. She's all dressed up already. <laughs> okay, let's go to the beach. So let's step into the first half of the next day, and I'll save our hike to Diamond Head for the next video because it's a wild adventure all on its own. Spoiler alert, there was a swarm of flying bugs. I think there were gnats at the very top. So there's that. So the beach, Waikiki, is beautiful. Lots of palm trees, there were crabs and jellyfish, statues all over. Different mini beaches with barriers of different styles to create more kiddie pool type beaches to bigger waves. There's a pier walkway, tons of shops on the other side of the road with some delicious ice cream options. And even more statues. And there's also a nice little park with plumeras in front of the Honolulu Zoo. You gotta go there and find some flowers and look at all the other cool trees there as well. Enjoy and soak in the pretty views, the sunshine, the sandy feet, and the salty air.
But as we were walking the beach, you couldn't help but notice the beautiful Diamond Head Mountain in front of you. We were incredibly excited for the next stop on our Hawaiian adventure. Stay tuned for our incredible hike to Diamond Head. See you next time.